Well, I'm making this cleanup because I really owe it to some who just love to see this stuff cleaned up and up close. And uh, I mean to tell you, banner days this week. Look at the top row. Full pieces out at Mecca. I mean to tell you. Holy smoke, right? And not small, all averaging around two inches here, which is one of my favorite lengths. Maybe a little bit below. We'll see some of these in the color. Uh, they're staying wet, which gives a good a good look at some of the color and the different materials. I mean, look at this. It's drying out a little bit, but the flaking on that. Anyway, from a perspective, there's a whole other group here. It's really great artifacts that got to find a home somewhere. Now, some of the ones on the top I'll probably give away, too. I can't keep it all. Can't. Now this, this is this is going in my heart maker's base. Look at that base, will you? Look at that base I found today. That's fantastic. Good stuff. I'll take that any day. Any day. I would have taken the whole point. That would have been great, but let's move on. I have a big piece of Riley here, high grade. And uh and Rob, I'm gonna send this off to you. It's a fantastic piece here. Uh as you can see. Good high grade. It's drying out a little bit already, so uh, that'll be fun. And then there's just another great piece here, missing the tip a little bit on the. Look at the look at the base on this. Great stuff. Only three, I mean for the most part, only three broken pieces. I mean that's that's good living, isn't it? I mean look at this. Now of course I've got this, of course, but in perspective, look at this. Look what we're gonna look at. Let's check this group out. They eh, banged up a little bit, a little bit of field grade, but these are whole artifacts, fantastic stuff. Just check it out as we go as we go along right here. Yeah, it might be snapped at the base, but some good stuff. Clearly, like I said, I like to now that's a whole point right there. I like to uh, be able to see that an artifact is indeed clearly an artifact. Clearly, this is the whole point right here. It's unbelievable. The whole thing is patinaed and they just made a little tip. I like to see clearly that it's an artifact. I don't want to, uh, I just don't have the time to collect chips and, and stuff like that. And I understand how some people like to collect materials. But I want a piece when I find it. Look at that little guy. Is it coming in? Yeah. When I find it to, uh, to say clearly North American Indian, you know. I don't want uh, a loved one or a friend to take a look at it and say, what is that rock? Why are you collecting rocks? I want them to see clearly that there's a curiosity involved. And I'm going over. This is the last one I found on the way out today. Isn't that funny? <sighs> but these are good pieces. They, these that you're looking at, um, I've got to venture out and just uh, unload them, give them to somebody. So that's a good group to do that with. Now I want to show you what I consider my stellar finds of the day. Across the top here on Indian Trace, this is Eastern North Carolina stuff. Look at this. My gracious. We're going to go from um, big to small today. Big to small. So here's an awesome piece. We saw it on film. But look at the flaking on this piece. Very unique piece. Uh, banded rhyolite. Starting to dry out a little bit. It's good shape for a Guilford round. Got a lot of bend in it. But just flaked. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Clean as a whistle now. Nice looking piece. And then a nice long Marl Mountain made out of this uh, granulated material. I found some other points there of this. Not today, but, you know, through the days. Some nice stuff they made out of this. And that's, that's fairly large, as I showed you. Look at how big that is. And then we've got a nice piece of sugar quartz. A lot of people like sugar quartz. And then the Morrow Mountain. Yeah, we're going to get to that absolute G10 last, I think. But a great Morrow Mountain point in quartz. They make a lot of these. Look at that. Next two, smoky quartz. And that's a nice point right there. We did. I didn't get to film that. That was deep in the mud. I saw a little bit of it. This is what really got things going today. And I was wondering if I'd find anything. I was double-checking myself. I mean, really, look at this lineup, and it's because I believed in my own fallibility. I believed I missed things. That's why I went back today. I mean, you saw, if you, you've had to see the last four or five videos, 
And I just went out there today stubborn, just believing I'd miss things. And uh, look what happened. Look at the color on that. Nice keeper. And look at these two great little ones. Rhyolite. Great points out there. I like those. Look at those three rhyolite together. Very nice specimens. And then the winner for, to, for today. Just want to show you this piece. If I can get it in a good position where the light's real good on it. Was this. My gracious, right? Whew. Oh yeah. Winner. At least for me, you know, everybody likes their own different styles and what have you. Look at that piece. Crazy, right? So uh, right now, I think this, this cleanup's for me. I mean, it just does me just as well. This stuff hasn't been seen in thousands of years, people. Thousands. That's a nice piece, isn't it? This stuff has escaped 300 cycles of industrial farming. It's crazy. Now, they, they, they dozens of times in a year, maybe, maybe 12, they go through that field with serious, serious stuff. So all in all, let me see if I can get a group out of that. That's a nice group. All those. What a good cleanup. What a good day, right? Stellar points from Mecca. But I can get a good view of this. Some great points right here. Thanks again for tuning in to Indian Trace. Does the heart good, doesn't it? Hope you find out there.